Welcome back to my channel, Ladies Survival here. Today I'm going to be taking you guys along with me on how I film my reels for Instagram. I actually got a package from Hot Topic. It's a box because I got a pair of boots, so it's kind of big. For today's reel, I'm of course going to film a little outfit try-on thing, and I want to show you how I go about filming it, kind of how I do all the different like sections, and then how I edit it. It's going to be kind of like you're hanging out with me while I make a reel. Just pretend that you're a friend in my room, and I'm like, hey, I got to film a reel today. So I'm just doing my thing. I'm not like a super professional, so it's just going to be whatever it is and I hope it all goes well because I've never filmed a video like this. So since you guys are here, it's also going to be kind of like just a little behind the scenes. So I have to open up my box. I haven't seen it all in person yet, so really excited. I have like these little tiny scissors. They're actually for cutting my eyebrow hairs. That's nice. Come on, you can do it. Boom. Okay, we're in the box. I don't even remember how many things I got. I remember they let you choose... I think it was four things all together and you had to kind of build an outfit. I think these are the boots. This is the bag. It's like a back to school thing with Hot Topic. So one of the things that you had to pick was like a backpack or like a stationary item. And then the rest was you had to build an outfit. Bigger than I thought, which is cool because all of my backpacks that I have in real life are like mini, like smaller mini than this. So this is like a decent size and this is so cute with the chains. I love it. Oh, these look so cool. Wow. Okay, wow. They look kind of big. I hope that they're my size because I feel like some shoe places I'm like a size 7 and then others I'm a size 8 or I'm a 7.5 or an 8.5. It really just depends. But I went with a size 8 because that's usually what I am. But I feel like these are really big. Ooh, I think that this is a cardigan. Yes. Okay, let's see. It's got a little hood on it. And it's kind of like distressed and it's kind of long so i'm really excited to try that on and then we have a pair of jeans which i also hope fits me i'm not used to buying jeans i'm just used to buying leggings so i chose a size one so i hope that it fits me but look at them it has like these crosses going down it and again a chain that's the outfit that we got that's what we're going to be wearing for the reel. So I think I got everything ready, no more tags or anything weird, and now we can jump into filming the reel. Okay, so I have my camera ready to film a reel. I wanted to show you guys some stuff real quick too. Grabbed this choker, because I'm gonna also wear this with the outfit, because it's got like a chain stuff going on and a cross on it. So I needed an actual like top to wear, because I got a cardigan, so I need something to put with it. So I'm just gonna wear this one from Killstar. It's just like simple, kind of black, but like it has strappy stuff going on but kind of just going for like a plain black tank top kind of vibe and then also I don't know if I'll use these but I grabbed a little notebook and a pen and um, some sunglasses in case I want to use that to like accessorize the outfit um, and to show me like maybe putting my notebook and my pen into the backpack because it's like a back to school kind of thing so as far as actually filming the reel I have stuff it's all actually right here let me kind of show you guys it's all on my gaming chair over here just everything that i'll need to grab it doesn't really matter where it is because you're just gonna edit it all together and kind of film different sections of whatever you're doing but at least this way i know everything i need is right there also just raising my camera a little bit i want to kind of get my um led lights in there so today what i plan to do is kind of a get ready with me so i'm just going to kind of be holding up whatever I'm wearing. Usually like you can do a thing where you hold it forward and then kind of pretend that you're like putting it on and then you would kind of cut it there and then it would transition into you wearing it. So it doesn't really matter how you do it. Lately I've just been liking to hold it up. I've even kind of considered doing the like holding it off of the screen. Basically between everything you do just start a new recording because it's a lot easier to edit it if you have like little sections so that you know like oh this clip is when I was putting the pants on or this clip is when I was showing the pants. You can also technically just make one big long clip like if I just wanted to literally film for like five or so minutes and just do it all in one big clip you can do that and edit it but I've been finding it a lot easier especially on the Instagram editing app to just have little mini like clips that are only 
you know, like maybe 20 seconds long or less than a minute long. So you know you're just dealing with that clip at that time. And of course, feel free to do like multiple takes. Like as I'm doing this, I can kind of hold it and then maybe try this and then instead maybe just kind of try a few different takes of whatever section you're doing so that you have a few different ones to work with in case one of them didn't turn out. So you guys will see what I mean as I do it. And then I'm going to stop. So now obviously I have put on the first item. They're always kind of weird but hopefully they're good. And I'll just kind of model the first item to show that I've changed. And now I'm going to stop again. And then next I'm grabbing the pants and I'm going to do the same thing, just showing them off. And then stop. A little bit of a behind the scenes. Obviously, as you stop in between each one, you're getting changed. Sometimes, like right now, I hit record um, and I'm going to kind of film me putting them on so that I can maybe take a part of the reel that kind of shows me like pulling the pants up so that it really seems like you're trying it on with me, which can sometimes feel a little weird to like film yourself getting changed, but I'll obviously edit it out for you guys. Okay, so I have them on. I decided to tuck in my shirt. I don't really know how I feel about that, but the pants are high-waisted, so I thought that it kind of helps to show the pants off more and show the chain off and everything. So now that I have the pants on, I'm just, of course, again, gonna kind of model the pants. And also at this point, I'm gonna kind of tilt my camera down and lower it so that you can see the pants better. So I'm gonna do an extra lower one to try to get some close-ups of the pants. And then I'm gonna stop recording and I'm gonna pull the camera back up. Next thing I'm gonna show is the boots. There's really not a particular order. You could do this however you want. You could do the cardigan next or whatever or accessories, but I'm gonna do the boots next because I personally don't like my socks. Like I just don't like people seeing my socks. So I wanna put these on as soon as possible. To stop the recording again and then film me modeling them just so it doesn't get too long and confusing. And now of course I'm going to lower my camera again for the boots. One thing that kind of sucks is adjusting the camera means it's going to be in a different spot every time but I don't really care. I don't think it's that big of a deal. So the next one is the cardigan. I'm gonna stop it again. Basically just stop it as many times as you can. I swear to God, it's easier to do smaller clips, but just wherever you feel like it. Next up is the backpack. I'm gonna make sure it's all zipped up so it's good to go. And we'll do the same thing, just show it off, try it on, and then I'll probably show me putting some stuff in it just for fun. I was gonna film me putting my notebook and pen in the backpack, but I think I'm gonna put the choker on first so that that can kind of be the end of my reel. So let's show off the choker. Now I'm gonna show the notebook and the pen. So I got the notebook and the pen in there lately. Not lately, literally just yesterday I did this thing where I waved and walked off camera and I liked it, so we're gonna do that. And also we're just gonna kinda do some final poses cause we got the full look on. And then after I think I'll do the same thing but with the sunglasses cause I don't know if I want them or not, so I'll do both. And then I'm gonna do another one but I'm gonna put the hood on and then walk off. does it. I think that we did it. That is how I film my reels. It's kind of a long 
process. Uh, this is also very hot, like it's very hot in my room right now. I'm dying to get out of it, but also I need to, while I have it on, I wanna take some selfies and maybe make another reel. Uh, we're done with this, I'm gonna go take a little mini break and then I'll be back. So right now, this isn't really reels related, but I did want to share it. I'm gonna be taking some photos. My phone is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. I don't know how many other phones have something like this, but it has this little like, pen thing and there's a little button on it and I can take pictures with it so I can like hide it in my hand and like pose and then click it and take pictures so it's kind of like those little like a bluetooth thing where you can click it but my phone just comes with a pen that has a button that I can do I'm gonna be taking some pictures so I might screen record that just to show you kind of how I do that it's not that exciting but kind of bonus section behind the scenes So now it's time to edit the reel. We have all of our clips and basically for this section I ended up just screen recording it and now I'm doing a voiceover. I tried to do it where I was saying what I was doing while I was doing it but it was just too complicated and it takes a long time. It took me like 40 minutes to put this one together so I didn't just want to literally be explaining the entire thing as I go. So I have it sped up but it's honestly pretty simple in terms of what I do. Um, I think I, there's about like seven steps or so. I tried to write down the notes of kind of the steps that you have to do to edit it and it's basically you're gonna pull in a clip. So we start with the first clip which for this reel was me showing the tank top that I was gonna wear and I pull that in and then I kind of start by skimming through the clip, kind of getting a general idea of what section of the clip that I like. And then the next step is once I find the section that I like, I just pull both of the sides. You can see like these yellow bars in the Instagram reel editor and you can pull them from like the left to the right to kind of narrow it into whatever small little section that you want um, and then once I have in general what I want the next step is just kind of really being nitpicky about like you're really working with like point seconds like you only want each clip to be maybe one second to two seconds tops I mean depending on what you're doing but for this style of reel like you don't want it to go on uh, too long because all of the clips that you're going to put in do add up and not a lot of people want to watch a super long reel so I try to make it as short as I possibly can so I'll just kind of squish it in until I have around like 1.5 seconds worth of footage that I really like and then I just kind of re-watch it make sure that I have it exactly where I like it and once I'm done getting the first clip I just go in and pull the next clip in so in this reel that would of course be me actually trying the shirt on and kind of modeling it and then we just follow through with the same process of skimming through the clip because again they can be anywhere from like a minute or too long worth of kind of posing so I just find a section that I like uh, drag in the yellow bars till I find it exactly where I want it and then at this point as I'm pulling in more clips I make sure to constantly go back and kind of re-watch it over and over again to make sure that everything's looking good as I go so that I know every time I pull in a new one I've re-watched it and I like how it's all kind of flowing and how the clips are moving into one another and that's pretty much everything so to recap you're just pulling in one clip at a time and just narrowing it down to exactly what you want re-watching it as you go pulling in the next clip and it's pretty self-explanatory one other big tip that I'll give is there's an option to save it's like up in the top right um, while you're editing and I like to save my reel as I go maybe every like I don't know, maybe every five clips that I add, I'll save it because Instagram sometimes, I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like it's really buggy and sometimes it'll just like close on me and it'll say like, sorry, error. And sometimes I've lost all of my work and I was sitting there for like 20 minutes putting it together. So I try to save it every couple minutes as I'm working on it. So that worst case, at least I can just pull in where I was so far. Uh, so I'd really recommend doing that. And of course, as you go, you can always edit it. Like say, if you realize that there's a clip in there that you don't actually need you can always delete it out of there you can also reorder the clips if there was a different order that you would like it in and then you can also shorten them with those yellow bars or make them longer so you're never really stuck with like one certain thing that you do so I hope that that's helpful and kind of explained it I know that 
it's just kind of going really fast right now so it's not really explaining it as i go but i'm sure that you can get the general idea because again it's literally just pull in a clip and trim it down to the section that you want and then it just kind of moves along through the reel and then as far as choosing music to go with it i'll just search through some songs this one i used teenagers by my chemical romance because i just thought it was fitting for back to school uh, but i just kind of listen through to different sounds of like my genre of music that i like until i find one that fits then you can add like text or anything that's pretty much it so let's now take a look at how the reel turned out so here's the reel i realized that i can't actually play the song on youtube or they're probably gonna demonetize me or mute my whole video or something but you can see the actual video on my instagram or on my youtube shorts i uploaded it also but you get the idea of how it ended up uh, turning out and everything. And that's actually the end of the video. I forgot to film a proper outro, so it's just gonna end here, but I hope that you guys found it helpful. If you have any questions, I can maybe do another video in the future or answer them in the comments. And I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one, bye.